they called my agent and asked and asked him if we could play, and we said yes. And why did you say yes? Because they offered us a nice amount of money to play. And also, XM has been very supportive of uh, me and my band. So. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate your honesty about the, uh, the financial. I don't know any other way. <laughs> it's more legit it's like you don't make music for a jury of, of whoever you know industry folk right. or you, you shouldn't win awards because you sold the most records right. that doesn't really make sense no. you should win awards because people really like you you know it's like maybe what if you what if your demographic of, of fans you have are really poor and they can't buy records then what you never win an award you never get recognition I think it makes more sense that you win stuff because people out there are like your band and are voting for you. Yeah, it's cool to make top five. It's surprising because there is a lot of bands on the list that uh, I thought would have made it well beyond us. So, yeah, I guess we got votes. That or they just like threw us on there. I think the first thing I said was, you gotta be kidding me. You just gave my band $25,000. The winner of the XM Satellite Verge Music Awards, which will be taking home $25,000 tonight for Best Album of the Year, is... I don't know, they kind of swept me out pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know, we were up we were up for two two awards, you know, and, and uh, so I kind of tried to prepare like some sort of speech or something. It wasn't much of a speech after all, but um, I was very surprised. Yeah. Yeah, nonetheless. And, uh, and yeah, I guess it hasn't really hit home. The, the money's a lot, it's a lot of money, I mean. Everyone loves a clap on the back and an accolade and a feather in the cap, but that that's, that's a serious amount. That's more money than I've ever seen before. So yeah. it, it's it's going to be really great for us. I mean, it, it's, I don't know, being from Newfoundland, it's kind of tough. I mean, like, not like we have it that hard, you know. People like us, they come to our shows, and it's great. Yeah. But traveling's kind of, you know, six plane tickets is always really expensive. Right. So, so how, uh, how's the money going to be spent, do you think? I don't know. You don't have to give me two minutes. I, well, I, I didn't really think about it. I, I kind of didn't think we were um, going to get it. I, I think it's trans, some transportation probably. Yeah. It's kind of boring. Uh, we're probably going to get a trailer to throw some of our gear in because we're six, we're six people yeah. and our, our van's kind of cramped. Yeah, just, the, just sort of the freedom to do some things, to do some shows that don't pay, you know? Right. Yeah. That's kind of really important. On the on the on the, on the, on the get go, you know, doing doing like we're doing this fall, we're doing a bunch of shows that, that don't really pay, and um, and you know six people driving around and eating and stuff. Ah, you know I, I no, won't go into it, but it is yeah. it, it, you know it, it's it's kind of hard. You know you do your shows um, in you know in St. John's or in Halifax or in Fredericton, places that you do kind of well, and that kind of pays for you to do everything else. So that's you know not so lucrative, but this is a pretty huge. Um, yeah, definitely. Thing to, thing to fall back.